Poaching is a huge issue in Africa at the moment. Studies show that around 100,000 elephants were killed on the continent between 2010 and 2012. The demand for ivory is driven by a rising class of affluent people in Asia. A lawmaker from China's Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, Dr. Elizabeth Quit, has been fighting against poaching. She was in Kenya recently and spoke to CCTV about her campaign to stop the ivory trade. The only value of ivory is just for decoration. And um, I know uh, a lot of people cannot associate ivory with a uh, dead elephant. Uh, they think that this is like antique or it is a, um, uh, an art piece. Uh, but I want to tell everyone that uh, all ivory come from dead elephant. That is what I witnessed here and what I saw. It cannot be farmed. It will not fall off by itself. So um, if we don't stop the buying, we cannot stop the killing. I'm lobbying and urging the Hong Kong government uh, to introduce a domestic ivory ban. Uh, I know it's difficult because there's still you know, a lot of legal you know, ivory in the market. But I think um, this is the only way that stop people buying and, and stop illegal uh, trafficking of, of, of ivory. Uh, Hong Kong is a very uh, big port. And um, um, I know uh, this is also one of the ports of transit of uh, illegal ivory. And some of them are selling in Hong Kong too. Uh, it's quite difficult to, um, to distinguish uh, you know, uh, legal ivory and illegal ivory, right? And uh, besides um, legal measure, I think uh, um, government can also uh, um, put more resources in education and promotion. For example, we can have more advertising and promotion uh, to tourists that entering Hong Kong or, um, uh, or leaving Hong Kong. Um, the Hong Kong government, we have a historical stockpile of illegal ivory stock in Hong Kong. And uh, um, the uh, Hong Kong government committed to burn all of them uh, within a period of time. So now it's just patch by patch, it started burning. I think this is also um, um, uh, to show to the world that uh, um, ivory should not have commercial value. I think that is one uh, big step and it's an important step to, to, to show to the world. Chinese people always uh, respect the nature and we respect life. Uh, I, I think just a lot of people don't associate ivory with that elephant. So I think that is the message we should bring to the world to let all the people know your ivory is but ivory, it's illegal and it's involved killing.